Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm printmaking on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So stay tuned. Okay, here you see me uh, placing some masks, a few stencils, but mostly they're masks. I think that would be the correct uh, language to use for these pieces. Um, anyway, uh, I'm putting them over what I would consider uh, I don't think I don't think it was an unsuccessful print but um, anyway this is just a new layer that I'm getting ready to pull and I, I think I'm going to be using a metallic gold on this one um, I can't remember but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is and uh, You can see that I've, I changed my mind many times through this process. Sometimes I use um, an acetate sheet. It's the sheet that comes with a jelly plate, top and bottom. And uh, I've used a Sharpie marker to place some, some shapes that I find okay for um, typical placement. But uh, anyway, I'm. I did speed this up a little bit and it's not moving fast enough. And you'll see me take the, pe the pieces off several times and uh, replace them. I, I really needed a bigger piece than that largest piece that's the orange piece that's down there. But um, I need to cut some more stencils, some more pieces, so that I have a larger piece for my, for my main piece. But anyway, um, you'll see me place uh, these next couple of pieces, and I I end up changing my mind about that because those two are so similar on that one side. But you'll see me change that out. I didn't want them to be uh, on the same side, so they were too similar. I wanted them to be. I wanted to have some different shapes side to side, so. You can. Uh, that's the wonderful thing about these uh, uh, silicone or plastic sheets, the divider sheets, the subject dividers that you cut up. That you can just pick them up and move them around. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, I've been, I have enjoyed working with these very much. Um, and you don't seem to see very much bleeding under the edge of them. That's the wonderful thing about it. Here I'm placing some uh, rectangular pieces, some linear pieces at, to contrast with the uh, orb-like shapes or the round shapes that I have there already. So. I can't remember what's coming up next. I have since found a different way to organize my pieces. I did get some folders that I labeled. The, the sheet protectors were good for a while, but I did end up changing those out. And now I'm deciding what is the next step. So I'm choosing my color, and I think I do choose the metallic gold. Maybe it's a mixture of uh, that copper color and gold. I can't remember. I think you'll have to just watch along with me to remember what I did. <laughs> Maybe I just opted for the metallic gold. I think I did the copper and gold on a previous one and I didn't 
I didn't want to duplicate that on on this on this this layer. Yeah, that's what happened. I did a metallic and uh, uh, gold and copper on the previous layer on this uh, print, and I I didn't like it, so I wanted to pull out some of the just the, the lighter value of metallic gold, the way it shimmers on the on the piece. So you'll see. And I I just I I want the copper to show through. So I'm I'm working a really thin layer of of this metallic gold on there because I, I want that copper to show through. And I think it will after I put, take up all the pieces. And here I am removing the pieces of the stencils and the masks and um, I really like my little uh, oh gosh what are those things called I'm having a brain fog right now <laughs> my exacto knife and I think I do end up forgetting a couple of pieces on this one I can't remember maybe it's another video that I watched earlier that I'm remembering I think I do remember the last piece here in the center it's a yellow piece of plastic so it kind of blends with the metallic gold there not there it comes off okay here goes the paper I can't remember what I'm using it's it's probably Somerset or uh, the Stonehenge hot press those are the two papers I'm trying right now really liking both of them equally I've, I'm, here we go Okay, I'm back. It's been about five minutes, maybe not that long. And uh, since I've changed my camera angle, I really don't know which way to pull the print. But I'm going to pull the print the way that I'm most comfortable pulling it. Well, it's a very nice transfer. I'm much more pleased with this. Okay. And as you can see, I'm still learning about my registration. So it's off over here, but I could I could probably fix that. Um, there you go. I don't know if you can see. I'll bring it closer. I'm not so good at this filming thing, you know. I'm gonna have to get much better. I really don't know how to do that. Unless I have to reach up and manually touch the screen, and I can't do that in the paper at the same time. They must have some kind of technology that helps you do that. But anyway, this is my printmaking journey for today. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy, happy printing, happy painting, happy creating, whatever it is that you're doing. God bless you.